Hey guys, welcome back. I am still really ill, but I just thought, why not? I'm going to be on flight sim most of the day, and I thought I wanted to make a little bit of a video with you guys, just to show you a little bit more about the BN2 Islander. So last time we flew to Inverness from Oban, we are now flying from Inverness to Stornoway. I've already got the flight plan and everything ready to go, so I can just fire it in as soon as I connect to that sim. Now, the thing is, in the last video, I made a lot of mistakes. That's my bad. It had been a while since I've created like any sort of video for YouTube. And uh, also, it doesn't help that I was ill. But hopefully this time, the brain fog is gone. And I will just do the best thing I possibly can, which is fly this plane. So if you bear with me, let's get ready to do this. Right, we're in the aircraft here. I'm going to file my flight plan with everybody. We're going to connect to VATSIM. Bang flight plan will be up on your screen right now so you'll see it uh, we're just flying directly VFR 8,000 feet climb to that as soon as we take off and we'll get out of there so no issues at all if anybody likes this video you know what you can do you can hit the like and subscribe button it really helps me a lot so that I know that you like this type of content and I will do more of it for you in the future so let's do this so Make sure the plane is ready to go. We're going to first of all click our battery isolation switch on to red and the gyro fail light is on. That means that the plane is powering up nicely. What we're going to do is we're going to open the doors. Open the window <clears throat> so we can get going. Oh my voice. Oh Jesus. I feel all manky today to be honest with you. But we're going to do it anyway, I just want to do it. We're going to just flick the avionics on and we're going to get straight on to 122.8. There is no air traffic control for Inverness or Stornoway, so it is going to be all via monitoring Unicom. And there's very little planes flying around at the moment in VATSIM. It is 11.30 in the UK right now, so not many people at all. We're going to make sure nav receiver audio is on. We also will need frequency audio so you can hear me as well and that's him uh, in game it's, it's a bit disorientating for me but it's good for you guys as well we're going to set the autopilot to 8000 on climb direct to we're going to click that we're going to start we're going to go to echo and then it's that one there echo golf Papa. And we're not Kirkwell. We are Stornoway, which is where we were supposedly before, according to this game, but we'll figure it out. Hopefully there it goes. Bang. Direct to Oh I've done that. I it's actually enter, sorry. Hold on, let me do that, and then hit enter, activate, bang. Okay, so that's the flight plan now active on there. I'm just going to check on VATSPY that our plane is set. Yep, yeah, we're going to Stornoway. Somebody's just about to land at the moment in Stornoway from Carlisle as well. Okay, now that we're here, let's switch everything on. Nav lights, beacon lights, uh, we don't need cabin lights, but these are all good to go. We're going to close the doors, remove the chocks, gas locks, pitot tube cover, engine cover, and boarding steps. So that means that the whole aircraft is clean to go. Just make sure the camera is facing my face. We are now going to start the engines. So this procedure to start engines is propellers to 100 and rich mix on both engines, port and starboard. We're going to go magnetos left, magnetos right. Fuel selectors on, fuel pumps on, get rid of all that sort of air running through the system. Okay, just make sure that our parking brake is set, which it is. We're going to set our backup frequency to 122.8 as well, because there's going to be no air traffic control throughout this flight. So we'll flip that over as well. So COM1 and COM2 is set to... 122.8, so if we have any issues with our comms throughout the flight, we can switch. 3, 6, 
seven, one. That's our squat code. We can make it whatever we want. The transponder we will set to standby. Okay. Since we're here, we're going to start engine port. Started. Engine starboard. Started. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Let the engines run for a minute. While we're here, we'll just discuss a little bit about the performance of this aircraft. Now, landing and takeoff in this aircraft is pretty good. It's pretty much a stall aircraft. You could be landing the aircraft around about 70 knots. It's very, very good. Um, the other thing is with the aircraft as well, with full flaps, um, you can actually land this plane safely without using flaps if you get the active glide slope perfectly. As you saw last time, it was very bumpy coming into Inverness. It's going to be very smooth flight, this one. There's not a lot of wind around where I live at the moment, which is just outside of Inverness. So we're going to be flying technically over my house. So there's no reason for it to be windy, I'll tell you that much. So we're going to start moving now. Inverness, Inverness traffic, traffic Hebridean, Hebridean 4, 4 3, 3, taxiing, taxiing to runway zero run 5, five via, via Echo, Echo and Alpha. And Alpha. Okay. We'll just rev up the engines a little bit here. We're going to turn left and then left again. We're going to do a pretty much uh, 270 turn here. Just because I'm not using the in-game tug because he's rubbish. He's going to get his head chopped off. Oh, there's a little diamond aircraft there. That's fine. Right, let's get on to the taxiway here. There's a there's a coastal variant of this plane. B2 Islander. There's the it's the uh, Defender. They call it. It's got a big radar nose. Okay, so we're just gonna roll across the taxiway now and get ready to go. I've got a scenery mod for Inverness, and I gotta say I really like it. So we're taxiing via Echo now. I can tell you now that the this sort of taxiway isn't this gradient. Uh, it's quite flat actually. Um, it's just the way that big maps sort of read the terrain. When they were mapping out all the stuff for everyone. I've just got to stay below 20 knots. We're going to set up for takeoff pretty much straight away, so we're going to set our flaps. We're just going to roll straight on the runway and go. Everest Everest traffic, traffic, Hebridean, Hebridean 4-3, four four three, three, taking, taking off, off runway, runway 05. 05. Right, Echo via Alpha. We'll just roll it out onto the runway. Flaps are 25 degrees, which is good. And let's fucking toga this bitch. Airspeed alive. Seventy. Eighty. And ninety. Let's lift up. A little bump in the runway there obviously doesn't exist in real life, but uh, definitely screws you up a little bit when you're when you're taking off from zero five. I'll tell you that much. So we are up in the air, climbing manually out of Inverness. Okay, positive rate. Flaps up. And this should help us have a little bit more performance in the aircraft. We're going to climb to 8,000, uh, not manually, but we're going to turn away from the airport just now and get close to where we're going right now. So, while we are turning, I'm just going to quickly, our metric pressures are set as well, 
make sure that's actually correct. Uh, I did click it when I was on the ground, but sometimes it's fine. That's fine. Okay. Autopilot. Nav mode. Climbing 700 feet per minute. We can climb higher. Activate nav mode for me. Oh, hold on. That's better. Forgot to hit the CD I keep. Now, that should mean that we're going to climb nicely out of uh, Inverness airspace and up towards Stornoway. Um, yeah, this is the Muddy Firth that we're flying over right now. Over to the right hand side of the plane is towards where Lossy Mouth Air Force Base is for the RAF Lossy Mouth. And on the left here is Inverness. In the distance, you just see it is quite cloudy at the moment, but yeah, over there is Inverness. It's quite nice to see sort of where I live over the when we're over the skies. We're going to be flying into some clouds, so there could be a bit of turbulence because of that, but there's no issues there. It is very cloudy outside today, but it was very lovely yesterday. Let me make sure everything's set. Okay, let's have a look of the exterior of the plane, because I do like this plane, how it looks. That is really cool. We're flying over what's considered the Black Isle. One of the coolest sort of areas of uh, water you'll ever see, I'll tell you that much. Hold rally championships and stuff like that over here. And I, I used to go shooting clay pigeons with my granddad over here. It's pretty cool. And I live over here. That's where I live, in this big chunk of land over there. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, the cockpit. As we are about to climb through some clouds. We are going to be IFR for this period of time, so we are going to be following what is the flight plan. Um, guys, sit back, relax, enjoy this flight with me, and I'll see you when we're about to land. So guys, I just did a piece of the camera, but completely forgot that my camera was turned off, but you'll have to bear with me on that. Uh, we're flying quite well at the moment. We're 54 nautical miles out from Stornoway now. We've dropped about 30 nautical miles off already. Um, there was a period of time in the flight where the winds were battering the aircraft and we were struggling to gain speed while climbing. Uh, but I rectified that, we're fine now. The aircraft itself is pretty good. Sometimes the altitude hold mode doesn't activate, but you know, you just got to monitor that when you start approaching your target altitude um, and yeah the overall aircraft is pretty nice to fly it's very responsive in the air as you can see I've dropped the prop and mixture down a little bit just to keep us within that sort of 120 margin for indicated airspeed um, we are VFRs we don't have to choose too much uh, one thing to note as well on your left hand side you've got analog gauges to tell you what temperatures and everything are for the aircraft, we're sort of running pretty good on oil temperature, cylinder temperature is good, 
the oil pressure is perfect and fuel pressure is kind of perfectly within its window. You can actually see what the maximums for these are up here as well on the aircraft. And it'll tell you exactly everything. And then in front of you, max speeds for flap selection for approach and landing. It tells you 114 knots and 88 knots. And you can land the aircraft below 88 knots. Now, looking out over the scenery here, this is beautiful. This is this is north of where I live. Uh, very nice. Sometimes can be very formidable terrain. A lot of people can get lost in these hills. But it is beautiful. That's the only thing I care about is that it is beautiful. So, yeah, bear with us for the rest of the flight. And I actually will see you on landing this time because I had a lot to talk about. <laughs> and I get low, I get really bored up here, all right? Don't don't blame me. There's nothing to do when you've got the plane set up. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the approach. Okay, guys, we're about to start our descent into Stornoway now. So we're going to set the plane up ready to go. We're going to be altitude to 2,000 feet. We're going to drop that in a minute. Make sure the aircraft has everything it needs to be to heat and airframe. The ice is still on. The wind screens on. The doors are secure. Um, we don't need to worry about that, but we will drop airspeed now. I'm going to start dropping an altitude by 900. And we'll announce it on the comm. Local traffic, Local traffic Hebridean, Hebridean 43, 43 descending, descending from, from flight, flight level 080, 080 to 020, to 020, 020, 020, 020, 020 for, for Stornoway. So we're dropping now. Airspeed will stay quite fast at the moment. We're going to go through the clouds, but I want to descend a little bit earlier so that we've got visual of the airfield and be able to manoeuvre ourselves to the left because we're landing on runway 36 today, as you would have seen in the Navigraph chart. We're landing 36 and then we'll be uh, pulling off and parking up. So, yeah, we'll see you when we're on final. Okay, once we get to 2000, I'm going to take control of this bitch. And we are near to land, so we need to get set up for that now. Uh, autopilot, big beep. Big beep. Make sure that my fucking mouse is out of the way. Not bothering me. That's going to bother me until I do that. Alright. Let's turn on. speed up and we need full performance so rich mix as well just to help with the landing we want that full performance landing you know okay we are good I have the runway in visuals just now we're gonna turn a little bit to the left Right over there. Starway traffic, traffic Hebridean, Hebridean 4, four three, three, landing, landing three, three, six, six on, on final. final. Get blustered about a little bit there. Best at landing in the world, I don't think, but we'll be all right. Really not 
lined up here, but it's all right. It's the angle at which we come in at. Because we're low altitude, doesn't really help. Just let it glide in a little bit here. Maybe extend the second flaps. Flaps too. Slowed down perfectly fine without that. So. Be ready to engage flaps to on the landing here. Perfect. There we go, 50 degrees flaps. We're going to send ourselves off here. Starway traffic, Hebridean 4-3, clear, clear of runway 6, taxiing to parking via, via runway 06, 05, 05, sorry, and Bravo, Bravo and then Charlie. Charlie. Such a nice little flight that was. I mean, the clouds don't do it justice, uh, but when you're above them, it's really nice. We're going to turn now. Park over here. Parking brake set. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was flight into Stornoway from Inverness in our little BN2 Islander. We are going to shut off the props. There we go. Fuel cut. Engines have stopped spinning. You can put the shocks in, gas locks, PO tube engine covers and boarding steps now. To do that, we need to open all the doors. We'll open our window, get some air in the cabin. You can turn off left and right generator, put external power available on. We need the mags off. We're good. Do that. And once we flick that avionics switch, we're off, but we're going to turn everything else off in the aircraft that we had on. We don't need any of that now. We are on the ground. Pack sides off. Turn everything else off that doesn't need to be on. And we are good. Well, if you guys enjoyed this one, you should check out the last one I did, which will be uh, appearing any minute now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I have been Andrew and I'll uh, catch you in the next flight. See you later.